So today we're gonna review my Transformers fast food toy collection and yes all of these figures come from fast food chains so let's start with this one so these two guys here Megatron and Bulkhead came from the Transformers Prime CGI cartoons and here they are they got they got great sculpts totally looks like the guys from the cartoons but their faces though their face details doesn't really look like how they look like in the cartoon but both of them has firing cannon gimmicks and up to date this is my favorite Megatron animated version of Megatron of all time the voice actor of, of this cartoon from the Transformers Prime did an amazing job as Megatron and still my favorite design as Megatron so here's Bulkhead and still limited articulation for these guys not much of an articulation but all of them have gimmicks so these guys came from the robots in disguise cartoon that followed up the transformers prime so here we got optimus optimus prime and he wields that um he wields that weapon Bumblebee with the sword thruster gimmick once again their body sculpts look like their cartoon counterparts but the face the face details doesn't really match the ones in the cartoon so here we have fire breathing Grimlock um, I've noticed in this Transformers toys that um, their body molds or sculpt looks exactly like how they look like in the cartoons but when it comes to the face details they didn't put they didn't put much details into them but that's okay all of these figures have really good gimmicks but here we got the chibi versions all of them 100% working So we got here Optimus, Sword Truster Optimus, Wind Up Toy Megatron that walks, Bumblebee with a Cannon Blaster, and Windblade here. I forgot what Windblade does, but this chibi looking action figures look really great. Once again, less details on the face but the sculpts of this figure are 100% great now let's move forward to these guys Starscream and Megatron now they have this on their chest once again not much of an articulation on these guys they look like actually they are vinyl figures with only up and down arm movements left and right on the head and that's it no movement on the legs and other parts so basically they're just display toys um less paint details once again not much of a detail on this star screen figure so pretty much they're like vinyl display toys now let's move forward to the next star screen and Megatron now if you compare this star screen to that other guy this one looks better I believe this came from the Transformers or Bumblebee Cyberverse cartoon more paint details on this guy more face details too 
and this has a more animated animated design than this guy this guy looks like classic starscream this one has a lot better details on him you can really see but once again not much of an articulation just up down left right movement no waist oh there's waist articulation on this guy so so pretty much one two three four 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 points of articulation on this guy same as megatron here once again this megatron came from the transformer cyberverse cartoon i don't i don't remember which cartoon this guy comes from from but uh uh he still looks great though but this one is better look at him more details on him but they do have the same articulation up down left right on the head left right on the waist and that's it hollow arms i forgot to mention the hollow arms that these guys have been you when you look at them from the back view they have this hollow maybe they're saving materials i don't know but sorry these guys look better than these guys but these guys have this chest gimmicks so now we have this optimus and bumblebee i'm sorry i forgot which cartoon they came from but once again these fast food transformers action figures have have that vinyl articulation going on on them just up down left right on the waist left right on oh, no articulation on the head this time a lot of details on the scope on the body scope but not much paint details see up down left and right and that's it um great sculpt on the figure but very less paint and details i mean if you want to guys if you have these at your home you can just custom them i'm thinking about customing these guys but i think they will lose their values if they if i did custom them so here we go so that's my whole transformers transformers ha happy meal collection um so i guess the best the best figures from this collection are i should say are these guys this cheap